that a lot of these vendors, Meanwell included, which Meanwell is an excellent brand of power supply, they do not incorporate you using these power supplies for robotics because they're not designed specifically for robotics. Now the issue with that is if you start connecting them in parallel like you would be for a general DC application, the potential for you to have issues is dramatic, mainly because stepper drives have EMF. And EMF is basically back electrical current from the stepper motors because a stepper motor, when it's braking, essentially is putting current back into the drive, which then is dissipated into the power supply. So what can potentially happen if the power supply is not designed for CNC use or does not have the capacity to dissipate that extra energy, you can find that your system will become unstable or the drives become unstable due to that back EMF. Now, does it happen often? Very, very seldom is this a problem. The thing to keep in mind is this. Um, the more drives you have connected, the EMF has an ability to dissipate through the drives that are connected and also the motors that are connected. Any device pulling energy is going to di help dissipate the EMF. But, once again, if there's a large amount, it can definitely destabilize the system and cause havoc, once again, without you determining specifically what the problem is. And the only way to really determine it, we went through and we analyzed the system and after he told me about the parallel issue, I told him to go back and connect one power supply to actually a couple of the drives and see if the, pa if the actual issue would be resolved. And it was. Marcus at Gecko Drive, uh, he also spoke to and Marcus felt that he did not have enough power for the drives. So again, it's uh, basically I feel and he feels, I, I think we're on the same page, that it's probably a little of each. 